the weather not size is spiteful, but the fire is so delightful. And sense with no place to go. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. And I will be some tea are very hot. The lights are turned way down below. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. When we finally kiss. Good night. Now I hate going out in the storm. But if you. Really? Shut up, Wesley. All the way home, I'll be sure. All of the fire is slowly starting. And my dear. We're still good for him. But as long as you love me, so. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. Hello. I'm James Covenant. I'm James. Thank you for watching. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> that was such a horrible what? song. You're a fucking horrible person. You shut your goddamn Damn. mouth. You die, die, How die, you doing die. here? EMC and you and fucking Terry made the funniest videos about fucking Nagasuchi. And like, the one where he was, he was like, well, shit. <laughs> And you're like amazing atheist, you are poopy butthole. But it was the raging, it was good. Um, I would link it in the description, but I can't. If you go into the Discord, the links are in there. I'll, uh, what I'll do is in post, I'll link your both of your channels, you and Terry. I'll uh, link in the description to this video in the comment section. Um, how are you doing though? No? What? Hello? What? Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I forgot this was an autism stream, so you've really bumped it up for the purposes of this video, right? Wonderful. You know that we're streaming, right? You fucking idiot. You have to actually talk. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You actually have to fucking like communicate with me. Are you high or something? No. Okay. I appreciate the conversation. We're gonna be talking about this guy Tony Atwood eventually. That fucking thinks that like humans are the next step and are not humans. When the fucking autistic people are the next step in human evolution, like we're fucking X Men or something. That's not true. No, probably not. Not true. I mean, it could very well be that autistic people are the master race. Well, not when you have like you're good in like one thing, but like everything else, no. Well, no. It, uh, see, what it is is. There's people, it's a spectrum of autism, so you've got, like, your people like me that can communicate and complete sentence, uh, sentences and not have sensory overload, and then you've got your people like the Rain Man type people that fucking, uh, you know, can have, like, a photographic memory and can, like, math and count cards and shit. And we operate yeah, on a, yeah, like, a substrate, to talk to other like, a, like layers in a, in a computer program, you know what I mean? Really bad theory. Well, you, know, well, you would have to find those individual people who are good at that. And huh. I guess. I don't know. It just seems like, uh... It's like I can talk about slow, because I fucking am. Right. I am one, so I talk about one. So I got all my levels up. I'm pretty happy. Now all I have to do is... God damn it. Stream's already having issues. 
It should be better in a minute, though. There we go. It's better now. Um, fucking legendary. Yes, I do. This is right fucking here. Uh, that you can't God. see. God. You can't fucking man. see because you're not watching. Man. There we go. Neat. Level eighty-seven. Man, this is going to be such a pain in the ass. Yeah, everybody said that they would be here for 8 o'clock, and they're not fucking here, which is kind of dumb. I don't know. Here, I'll get the link. Just reset that, and then hit this because we can actually use the bot to pump shit through here. So here we go. Jesus Christ! it eat if it's scared of worms? We just made of different things. Chickens are a very good judge of character. Okay, so right off the bat, it's like, all right, you got kids in here, that's good. What even Fucking is this, honestly? It's, it's about this guy named, uh, what is it, is it Terry Atkins? Or... What the, hold on, give me one second. Tony Atwood, that's what it is. Tony Atwood, he believes that fucking... People with Asperger's are like the next step in human evolution, like with the fucking X Men. And right, when I like, say pause, you pause, right? All right, I'll try anyway. They know someone who's not going to harm them, and someone who's safe. I tuck them in every night. We have to talk about Tony Atwood when we talk about Asperger's syndrome and autism. If it hadn't been for Tony and the way that he can communicate we wouldn't have the understanding that we do now to help so many people around the world. Although you're good at understanding chickens, what other people are thinking and feeling may be difficult for you at times. Yeah. We use the term Asperger syndrome for what may be called high-functioning autism. It's a different way of perceiving, thinking, learning and relating. So that part of the brain is not working as it does in most people. That's what we consider the most crucial difference. And you were hurting yourself. Well, I paused that. Were you talking? Oh. No, okay. It's hard to tell because when the bot is talking over it. Okay, cool. So we're going to continue. You don't have anything to say so far? Um. um is this... Is this... Oh, go, go. Okay. Anything, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I would bite around there. I would just bite it and bite it and bite it. And I didn't really feel the pain, so I'm like, this works. Life with Asperger's is, is, is not all wonderful. But by nature, I am an optimist. And I have an optimistic view of what can be achieved. He understands my autism, yeah. and he gives me tools to use to help with it, and he's kind of my go-to guy. A chicken's love is its superpower. Autism is mine. Yeah, I agree with you. Use it wide. So, right off to start with, I don't like the fact that he's using, like, fucking kids as an example. Um, I know that this thing is, like... His whole thing is kids, which sounds really fucking creepy when I say it like that. But him talking? No, not him talking. Okay, so he's he's. I I don't know. He's fucking. He's, he's using kids in this fucking video as an example. It's like, what about all the adults living with autism? What exactly? What are they like? I mean, I know because I'm fucking one of them, but. Let's play the fucking like some weird documentary thing. 
it is a weird documentary thing because you won't find anything that he actually makes on YouTube because he's an actual fucking doctor. You know what I mean? With a real fucking job. Are you all right? Okay. You sound like you. Okay, I just want to make sure that you weren't spurging. Hold on, give me one second. I have to hit the play button again. Sleep because it'll give you talent it's and ability. Tony Atwood was really the first clinical psychologist in the world to look at Asperger traits as assets and not as something to be fixed. Something to be congratulated for, something to be enjoyed in the person's life. And we always look for those gifts, those strengths and abilities that the person has, because it's always there. Well, yeah, that's the fucking thing, though. When I said earlier, I don't, like, I don't think that, like, autistic people are, like, any better or worse than normal people, right? Right. People without autism, I guess I should say. But I, uh, but I really don't think that someone with autism or Asperger's is a mixed up in human evolution. Well, it's, right. uh, I mean, it is, it is something so different than... Is, the next step in next human step. evolution would be very when it would be a lot bigger than just being really well not really yeah. i mean that's what evolution is it's a gradual change over time and in, in response it's gradual to but like the next step would be like big. no i don't think so i don't think that it would be like you're thinking like you're thinking like uh creationist now where it's like oh if a fucking We've never. No, it, no, it, what I'm saying is, if it's a next. Step, why are there still monkeys? It's, it's the next step. Yeah, it is the next. It seems but like. like it's saying it's the next step would be like, oh, that must be big. Right, but that's the next. That's all a step is. It's not the next landmark. Okay, it's, maybe it's a small step. Maybe it's not a big one. It's like it, maybe it's not as big as between like. Like Homo sapien and like, yeah. Right. My dog insists on ruining my everything. He hurts like my feelings. Your dog hates him. My dog, my dog has autism. He's a chihuahua. So. Oh, I didn't level sneak. Oh, okay. Well, let me finish leveling light armor then. I know now I'm doing. All right, all right, all right. Hold on one second. It takes a sec because I have to actually type the fucking thing out on the phone. Ooh, another toothbrush. I think people with autism just are incredibly brave in just coping with life. Coping with the challenges, not just the social and the conversational, but to just get your thoughts and feelings across to other people. Tony has been at the cutting edge research over the last three decades. He can tell our story in a way Fucking that, science, that dude. doesn't fudge the challenges, but he never loses hope. The special interest gives you a sense of identity, success, but it's also a blocker of negative emotions. Are you I think many of the your heroes team? in life and the greatest scientists and artists actually have Asperger's syndrome. Vincent van Gogh and Andy Warhol had many of those characteristics. Another component is if you are imitating others and copying them, you do literally win Oscars. See. Now he's saying that Vincent Van Gogh and Andy Warhol, and I think he goes on to claim fucking Albert Einstein were all autistic. First of all, uh, you're probably fucking right. But second of all, that needs some serious fucking citation, my dude. I have to say something. Have to say something. Yeah, go for it. Did he, he said something he says, about like... Like, oh, they have these idols or whatever, or these heroes in their life, right? Uh-huh. I think I understand that one. 
Yeah, I mean, but I think most people can identify with that. Maybe not to the well, same no, extent, but like... I think a lot of autistic people or Asper, people with Asperger's, um, they're idols, they kind of... They'd be more of those people who are more, I guess, fanatics or whatnot. Not fanatic, but more like, oh, this person is cool. Like, say you have this cool man on YouTube, right? You're like, oh, I'm uh, going to follow him on every single social media he's on. Right. Or like, I want to watch, if, if he live streams, like, oh, I'll watch every live stream or whatnot, you know? Right. Like, you just watch, they, they just watch one video and they're like, oh, I like this guy. What are you getting at? It's like, it's like, they semi-obsess. Okay, so like one of my favorite people, yeah, because I know, I know all about obsession because to this day for over 20 years I've been obsessed with Pokemon despite my protestations at the bullshit that they pull with the new games. But the dude who invented Pokemon, the dude who came up with the games, he's fucking autistic. And he was obsessed with video games. First, first he was obsessed with collecting bugs and uh, tadpoles and, uh, you know, stuff like uh, li little lizards and stuff. Stuff that he could, like, take home and, like, frame or whatever. You know how people collect bugs and stuff? They put them in those neat little... Yeah, so he obsessed about that. And then he got obsessed with video games. And then he got obsessed with computers and programming. Then he got obsessed with writing uh, a magazine about video games and then he got obsessed with making video games and he, com he, he combined all of his obsessions into making video games and then he made the most successful, the most lucrative, the most well-known franchise on the planet. All three of those metrics. Like, it makes the most money. People know what Pokemon are. I mean, so I get, the, I get what he's saying about that. Because I could definitely fucking identify. But I don't know. It's like, I don't know how I would turn any of my obsessions into a thing that could be, like, lucrative, though. That's the only thing. I guess I try to do that with YouTube, but there's literally one person watching, so it's like... Yeah. I do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I did it on my bed. I have this fan fiction. It's not even a real fan fiction. It's actually just brain spiel. Um, right. It's based on these streamers I watch. And not just them, more like just anything I can think of. Like, it's formatted it's, like you have this character's character. name, and then it's like, oh, this is what they're saying. Right. So, it's really a big part of Asperger's and fucking uh, autism in general. It's like being a fan, but more than a fan, but not like a, not like a stan or a super fan, you know what I mean? It's like in between super fan and fan. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, also, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I'm back. I don't know, but somebody jumped in. Welcome to the autism stream, my dude. Are you autistic, or are you, like, just an advocate, or do you have a family member? I I might be autistic. My doctors are trying to find that. To be honest. Well then, yeah. Okay, cool. So you're somebody who's currently undergoing diagnosis. So what, yeah. Do you want to like, like, do you want to like talk about it, or do you want to just uh, do you want me to keep playing the video, or what's up? I don't mind, honestly. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm okay. No, it's fine. No, go ahead and if you want to talk about your experience of going through the diagnosis process. If, if... Hold up. All right. Uh, what did you have the stream going in in the Discord at the same time? Okay. Uh. Do you literally have a toothbrush that you're making that fucking noise with? I don't know. What do you mean? My fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if anybody knows how to get a hold of the messenger reveal, go ahead and let him know where the stream is. Give him a link to the Discord. Drop him right in here. Let's see here. 
Okay, I'm back to being really awkward. Oh, okay, cool. I don't I know. Clean teeth, those clean those teeth clean. Oh, I have to, uh, okay, cool. So I'll go with one handed there. So do you want to resume video? Resume video? Okay, cool. We'll do that. Um, give me one second. That's why we think Laurence Olivier and Peter Sellers had many Asperger features. So I think there are many advantages in us embracing Asperger's Embracing. syndrome and welcoming that different way of thinking. We're ready? So we'll just go. So we'll just go. And there's lots of toys lots to play toys. with in here. Leah is two Leah's years, 11 months old. Now, she has several siblings with autism, so there's a possibility of what we call recurrence. Wow. I think you're more interested in the house than playing with me. She won't get involved with playing with the other kids, and she won't, if, she, if it's not what she wants to do, she's not interested at all. Do you know what that is? In the house. Can you tell me, Leah? There are many more children being diagnosed today. See, this is the thing about uh, Asperger's is that, like, with me, I'm, I'm actually super outgoing, but I'm super fucking awkward, and I'm, like, I, I don't know. I don't have those features, but I have an official diagnosis, so it's weird. So are they just calling everything fucking Asperger's now that they don't know what the fuck to call it? Or Maybe what? That's another thing. Reason. Yeah, I know, but Asperger's is part of the spectrum. I thought it was a specific set of traits. Funky and... Alright. And see, that's the weird fucking thing. It's like, where the fuck do I fit in all this? It's, uh... It's just weird, that's all. You think that, uh, like... Okay, if I had an infection, they would go in, and they would do all... Uh, they would figure out what I, was, I had an infection with, and, like... And if it was a cellulitis, or if it was, you know, what the fuck it was. And then they determine a course of action, yeah, like, yeah. like I, you'd go and you'd get an antibiotic, or you'd, like, a, like an oral tablet, like an analgesic, or, like, a fucking intravenous, depending on the severity of the infection or what the infection was. And they'd have to determine if it was, like, MRSA or whatever, but there's no diagnosis. Like, you go in, get a diagnosis, they say you're on the spectrum somewhere, they say you're high or low functioning now. They, Asperger's is completely removed from the DSM, I think, now. They, it's all just, it's all just autism spectrum disorder. And then, they tell you that you're autistic, and then what? You just live your life knowing that you're autistic. <laughs> what is the be what is the benefit of knowing that? Why the fuck did you even tell me? You can't. Call now me I know. I am. And now now I know that I'm not neurotypical. Okay. That I can't do anything with that information. It's just more frustrating. Now people can't what call me retarded because I have a fucking, you know, whatever. It's like okay. We'll just. I mean, I'm. Supposed to just keep living my life as normal? Oh, okay, that's what I would have done either way. But, okay. <laughs> I see so far in my school, I, they've been doing it, he's just like testing me. Like, they're asking like, questions ask about the answer honestly, and they go on with learning other things, and I'm like, what is this? Did you get a, did you get, like I did, like my, the state was testing kids that they diagnosed with ADHD. And they're testing our IQs, and they tested me all the way from kindergarten to uh, fucking my senior year of high school. Do you get regular IQ tests too, or no? Um, sometimes. Like, I'll have them from time to time, I think. I don't know. It's like my first time even starting this crap. What about, oh, well, EMC, you didn't do public school, so this will be an interesting question. Do they do that with you? Elijah. What? Do they do regular IQ tests for you or no? I don't 
think so. Not not my school. All right. All right. We'll continue with the video then. Because we're doing the diagnosis. It might be, you know, one in a hundred. It might be one in sixty-eight. It might be one in ninety-eight. Just depending on who's who's done the figures. Early diagnosis, early diagnosis and early intervention, intervention is crucial. Some new toys. Her self-imposed isolation, her emotionality and rigidity, her difficulties in reading social situations suggests that she may be what we call on the spectrum. There's two terms you'll come across, ASPE, meaning a person with Asperger's syndrome, or your neurotypical. Yeah, so these terms are dated. ASPE is now like a pejorative. It's like, oh, you're fucking autistic. What are you, some kind of fucking spurk? Which is, I mean, ironically, what we call this fucking Discord hangout is the spurk squad. So it's it's like, okay, so it's like early intervention is crucial, he says. Crucial to what? What do you do? You tell somebody that they're autistic, then they know, and then they what? We're supposed to feel special? Or what? I mean, honestly, it's like, what? I'm fucking autistic. Okay. Now what? Nothing. Yes, you're okay. autistic. Oh, okay. I'll just move on with life and be completely normal. Yeah, let me just, uh, you know, stop being autistic or whatever. Is that is that the other, th like, on, on that side of things? Is that what they want? Or what? Like, now that I know that I'm autistic, it's like, it's like when you have a nervous tick where you tap your foot and then somebody tells you you're, you're tapping your foot and you're like, oh, I'll just stop. But no, it's really not, it's really not like that. It's like fucking Tourette's. It's like, yeah. I say, I have Tourette's, right? Yeah, it's like I have Tourette's. I say off the wall shit and I have a, a facial tick. Let me just stop doing that. Oh, wait, I can't. Yeah, I know, see? Just stop twitching for a second. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. But I just can't stop going. <laughs> I fucking... <laughs> I can't. All right. Well, mm -hmm. see, this is why we had to have EMC on because he's high functioning in that he can. Uh, he's not. Uh, he's not a potato, but uh, but he's not an idiot. But he does weird shit. Anyway, video. Someone who doesn't have Asperger's doesn't syndrome. Have Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> Look at that! I describe myself as a translator Translate. between two different cultures to explain the neurotypical world to the Aspie, the Aspie and the Aspie world to the neurotypical. Someone must fall in love with an Aspie, otherwise it would have died out years ago. Yeah. But what I found is the person who falls in love with an Aspie is a beautiful a person, person. <laughs> and that's you. So, so when I say yes, I say she has the features of autism, I'm so delighted she's in your family <laughs> because you're already you're an expert. expert. Thank you. I speak Aspergerese. Asperger. I was brought up in that environment and know it. And I know it not just professionally, I know it from personal and personal. family experience. He says, he says he speaks Aspergerese. Now, I know that he's just being nice and he's trying to explain what exactly it is he does, but it does sound a little bit like he's being a condescending douchebag. I know that he's not, but I speak Aspie. It's not exact. It's like, oh, I speak retired. Oh, like, uh, this fucking cringe is strong. Oh, uh, please stop. I speak gamer. <laughs> speak gamer. I speak depression. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> yeah, anyway, okay. keep oh, God. Oh, God. We'll keep going. God, it's mint flavored. My mother married an engineer who seemed a little bit odd, aloof, austere, austere. and was a puzzle to me to relate. Is he trying to rhyme? Tony grew up Tony with his stepfather, who is on the spectrum. So, so I think since he little, he learned about how it is like to live with someone with Asperger's and therefore know, I guess, their worldview. Yeah, we got some people in chat. Hi, John. Sh sh fucking Shabbat Shalom, my dude. All right, we're going to keep hey, going guys, with the video. For all of you here who have eyeballs, say Pog in the chat. <laughs> I felt very much unwanted in the family. So I suppose so I, in a way, 
I observed and analysed the Asperger characteristics. I'd wanted to be a psychologist since I was 14. Finished a year at university and had a summer job uh, as a volunteer in a special school. This was 1971, where we knew very little about autism. There was a child. You know what's interesting about this guy, though, is that all the thing, all the traits that he's describing, apply to him. He might be autistic. Well, that's Obsession, that's... and it's yeah. He's on. The, he might be on the spectrum. That's why he speaks Aspie, as he calls it. <laughs> you know, that might be why he calls it speaking Aspie because he's so fucking autistic that he doesn't realize how offensive that is to, I guess, normal people that walk around in clothes every day. Well, that's people big fucking. Big fucking chungus. Uh, uh, this uh, one guy is doing a fucking live stream. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be in this live stream. Is he? Does he mean this one? Oh, whatever. At this point, I'm just gonna do what I need. What I was gonna do in the first place. All right, hit and play. There, little girl, five years old, severely autistic, no speech, very much in a world of her own. She loved being on the swing, the so swing. I pushed her on the swing, and then she wriggled and indicating she wanted to get off. And I thought, oh, oh I just oh, sit on the swing, on and the swing. just looking around, checking that she was okay. And she, she came up behind me and pushed me. I knew she had done that for my enjoyment. And I just felt that that was a communication. And that was it. That was I it. then decided autism is going to be my career to find out why you are like that and help you. All okay, right. So that was what did it for him. A little girl who didn't talk pushed him on a swing. All right. That's a weird thing. I mean, it took me what like a... Sounds like? What? Uh, let me think. I literally know what I'm about to say. It's like What's this song? Song? I mean, like, I'm not like shitting, movie, um... dude. It's like a movie. You can get a move or you put me the wing, and I'm like, whoa, dude. Oh, it's like one of those black exploitation movies where it's like the teacher moves into the urban neighborhood and the kids reject her at first, and then she comes in and starts laying down the law, and that doesn't work like a boombox and plays rap music and starts freestyling poorly. Fuck. What? Like, so, like, I like, am sad. Like, I am sad, like, man. I need no There's like a million movies like I that. Be your friend. Hey, hey, Will. Hey, what's up? Uh, not much. Uh, you can send me an invite to the server later, but all it, all it does is like ding me constantly. It, I, I, ah, shit. Sorry, I try to limit that in my service and all that, so don't feel bad if I, like, leave and join at random. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we're doing a stream right now, so, and we're streaming in here, so this is all going live to my YouTube channel. Ah, yeah, I... Yeah. Okay, I figured. That's my luck. See ya. No, you don't have to leave. We're, we're, everyone's an open invite. We're listening to a video about autism. We're doing an autism stream. Oh, um... If I had known that, I wouldn't be sitting here trying to make tea in my coffee maker behind me right now. I'm sure it's very loud. Listen, yeah, it is. It's but... aesthetic. Yeah, and, uh, what was it? Uh, and I'm playing Overwatch with a friend of mine, so I should get back to him. Oh, okay, so, whatever. I was just popping out of the region, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for popping in, Arcane Binding. I appreciate it. Okay, I guess we'll get back to the fucking video now. He just autistically popped in and that's what it was like. I know. Tracer. <laughs> He's already Tracer. <laughs> what are you talking about, you fucking... Oh my god. You're gross. Alright, let's see here. Fucking stupid goddamn... I wish there was a button I could press for this, but anyway, here we go. I met Tony at a psychiatric hospital in the south of London. 
I was a student, he was working and also a master's student. My youngest sister was diagnosed with autism when she was about 10. I found it quite embarrassing that she was quite strange in some of her behaviour. I didn't even admit that I had a little sister for a long time. I didn't know how to deal with it when I was a young teenager. Meeting Tony was actually quite inspiring regarding my sister because he was so interested in her, so accepting of the whole family, ran off and got married. We had three children and we had decided that we'd like to go overseas. We moved to Queensland. It was heaven, it's warm and it's sunny, it's sunny. and it's so it's unlike so... Birmingham. Who's got the video camera out again? So, uh, fucking Queensland, that's where fucking Knives is from. The, uh, the fucking, it, for people in the stream who don't know who Knives is, he's the, uh, the crippled vet with the cancer that we raised money for not that long ago. And to this day, it's still paying for his fucking medication. Although I think that he's fine now. The money that we got him helped him through the worst part of that. So even though we didn't raise all the money, we got him just enough money that he's not uh, fucking dead. So I appreciate everybody who, who did that. But I was just thinking, oh yeah, Nice lives in Queensland. Oh well, he lived. He moved house. I have no idea where he lives now. If y'all donate money, I promise I will not use it to buy Team Fortress 2 loot crate. Um, fucking, that reminds me, there is a link in the description to a non-profit for autism. Uh, I would appreciate it if people, if they've got a couple of holiday bucks, uh, or shekels or whatever, if they want to just, you know, put fucking bread in my jar, that would be great. Um, at any rate, I was just thinking about that, so we'll just hit the play button again. Kids up the drive, I'll take a of you. We were free range children and you know, we'd come back for lunch and go out again. So my childhood was um, happy. Peanut butter. Yuck. Rosie. Yeah. Hi. Growing up in the Outward household, Dad would often be studying, researching, reading up on things. Um, when I was very little, apparently one of the first sentences that I would go around and say was, Daddy doing the research. Daddy doing the research. Research. <laughs> Dad was very ambitious. A new career was a big focus for him, and it required so much brain power and empathy power as well. I think it drained him, and I think having three small kids would have been quite difficult. William, no. Yeah, this is the thing that got me is that one of his kids' names is, uh, or one of his grandkids, I can't remember, is fucking William, and I was like, wait a minute. I heard that in the video from the other room, and I, at the time when I had watched this video the first time, like, uh, I think I want to say it was like a year or two ago, I heard that on the fucking thing, I was like, who is fucking calling me? Someone is in my house. But that's because I'm autistic, and I thought somebody was actually in my house. Some random weirdo. But, like, so, like, fucking Jordan Peterson has this issue in, in his life with his family, is that, like, he, uh, he spent so much time with his nose in his fucking research that he actually is like sometimes fucking slips up and neglects his kids. Or did. And not neglect in like a bad way, just didn't spend enough time with them. So. That's definitely a thing. Did I drop? Are you guys alive? Hey, I'm here. Oh, okay, cool. The other kid fucking dropped. He's probably gonna go play fucking Fortnite or whatever. We started to have a few problems with Will. Very volatile emotionally, short attention span. Sort of went through school thinking of him as a bit overactive, a bit, a bit maybe ADD. But we didn't even give it a name. You know, it was just, yeah, he's a bit of a distraction. When puberty occurred, anxiety didn't come in as a wave, it came in as a tsunami, and he was horrendously anxious. And he found that alcohol and marijuana gave him a level of relaxation, relaxation. he'd never experienced in his life.
Dad saw his son doing well academically and socially, going to parties, having friends, having not getting hooked on computer games. There See, this is what I was saying, is I didn't find weed until later in life, but I definitely feel like it makes me feel... Well, I definitely have an easier time at life being stoned out of my fucking gourd or drunk than I do. Please don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to advocate doing drugs, so I definitely didn't just advocate for that. I'm just saying, in general, um, you know, well, I'm just quoting the dude who uh, is in the fucking video right now that we're playing. Um, yo, yo, peppermint patty, that helps me through life. Not weird. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. There's no real reason for him to worry or suspect anything was up with me. Yeah, well done, man. And he was very busy at that time writing the book. Tony Atwood wrote the definitive book on Asperger's Syndrome that is regarded all over the world as favourite. Ever since a month ago... Michelle and I decided to start a clinic as a centre of excellence, not only in terms of diagnosis, but also in terms of treatment. I've had a very big mind change. We did the that. world's first oh, therapy programs for anxiety, anger, depression so and affection. But now One of the first things that we recognised was that there can be very intense emotions. I first met Virginia in 2008 when she was nine years old and I've been seeing her on a regular basis ever since. It's a gift. I was a bit incredulous, a bit incredulous. <laughs> even then. I still remember that, surprisingly. And I was, was, wow, so it's a gift, it's something to be celebrated, be celebrated nurtured, nurtured, not something to be destroyed or hidden. So what we're going to do next is try and explore some things about feelings and emotions. Tony developed a Tony program and we were asked to be a part of that. What it showed us was the degrees of emotions that Virginia would experience. And it taught us that Virginia wasn't experiencing shades of grey. Everything is either neutral. So if she feels burst, if she apparently what? No? Just me? Am I dead? Possibly my mom? No? Okay. Um... Yeah, so, like, this guy is bit... The, uh, we'll probably be... He's, he's, like, he later on in the video, he gets... He talks about how... That this might be a latent response to um it's it's part and parcel of going from hunter gatherers to like uh the agricultural revolution so this is a delayed genetic response in the gene pool to not having to hunt for food do you have any do you have any opinion of that emc or are you just dead from the neck up today Did you go to poop? Okay, well, whatever. At any rate. Oh, good, you're back. You're not dead. Hello? Mm. Are you okay? Yeah. What, are you fucking tired? Or you need to go night-night? Lay down, and I can lay down. Are you actually gonna fucking go to sleep in the middle of my fucking stream? No. Okay. Hey, listen, EMC. I want to demonstrate to the world and everyone that you do actually have a functioning brain. So, if you if we could have big brain time for just like one minute, do you have any strong opinions about this in any way? Ah. Uh... I mean, what's it like for you living with autism? The problem with me is, um, 
depending on what I'm doing, I have a hard time focusing, but for some things, it's really easy to focus on. Like what, for example? What's, like, what's, what's going to be an easy scores. and a hard? School okay, so score. Really you no. Know? Alright, so schoolwork is yeah, shit. That's where I'm like really feeling it. Oh, really? Yeah, like if I'm really, like if I legit want to, I could do really well. Right. But like, like when I, my best videos, when I'm like in the zone, right? So you just have like days yeah. or times where you yeah. just get into it and you have to be and in a group i don't think about what i do and a lot of times it actually does it works out fine for me right do you think that it works better when you just don't think about it and you just function yeah um how do you operate socially like me where you just try to be conscious of when you're talking too much or in when to shut the oh, fuck up, or, or no? I, with what I do, um, like I do this pretty much any, a lot of most anywhere, unless, unless whatever. Um, I will say something I will say. when I feel like I have something to say, because a lot of times I really don't have anything to say. Right, I get. I get that way, but most of the time I feel like I have too much to say, so I don't say anything at all, because I feel like there's no, there's no conceivable possible fucking way that anybody gives a shit about my opinion on whatever it is, this fucking thing or whatever. That's why it's hard to like get on and do videos, I, why I did like stream of consciousness, consciousness today and just picked up the fucking stream and started fucking like, doing whatever. Any video I make? Like a lot of this is, a lot of this is reflected by my videos. Right. The reason my videos are the way they are is because I really, like it may not seem like it, but I really do want to upload kind of like the best. So that's why it takes me like I'll have a week of like videos that are really good, and then a month of uh, nothing. Right. It really I needs to be something that I like, right? Or something that I would think it would be funny. I have the same problem, too, like when I go to make videos, because it takes so long to make a recorded video. That's why I do a lot of live streams. And so much can happen in between starting to record the live video and actually getting it up that, like, I might just not be... At my at my peak condition to fu fucking finish a thing, so I just end up the whole thing get, ends up getting shelved for basically forever, and then it never materializes, which is, is shit because like that's how uh, th that's what I need to fucking function. But the way this reflects into like social interaction is. Com my whole thing, my whole life, really, I like to focus on comedy. Right. I like to be funny. Right. And when I speak, it needs to either be funny or... Yeah. Right. 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 I think most of what you say, like, usually when you open your mouth, it, it doesn't matter what it is, it's usually funny, whether it's on purpose or not. So I think that in that department... Mm -hmm. I mean, because you say, you say off-the-wall shit all the fucking time. And it's great. To be honest with you. Think of one right now. Hold on. I make, make the, the large funny. Pinto bean, pinto bean wall plaster? My ass cheek? <laughs> Is that fucking one? Cut. Comedy, comedy, fucking gold. All right, we've hit peak. We've hit peak, fucking funny. All right. I, I literally just looked at my wall, and I was, I was, I was thinking of bean, and then I looked at my wall. It's like pinto bean wall plaster. 
I know, somebody ought to call uh, fucking uh, I, Ivan Reitman or like fucking Dan Aykroyd and get you a fucking movie deal because I think we've got a winner. I won. I won. <laughs> this is why I try to get people to come into the fucking server because, um, like, I feel like I need people to be exposed to you. Because. Thank you. Because, like, you fucking, like, I have a lot of bad days, and I know that, like, when I come in here and you're in the fucking voice chat, we can just shoot the shit and just laugh at fucking nonsense, and, like, some days we can just, like, talk shit or whatever the fuck it needs to be done to, to fix my mood. So, it's therapeutic, really. The whole fucking thing is. I had a thought, Will. Okay, go for it. Oh, so you're a monkey? Name every Onga Bunga. <laughs> I don't know if that's racist or not, but... Monkey. Well, we're... Monkey like... <laughs> it's only racist if you think black people are monkeys, right? If you're... Only racist people would think that. Are you thinking that? Don't think it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I think that Nakasuchi is doing a live stream right now about fucking autism or whatever. And I don't really want to talk about that, but I saw that the tagline for his video was like, uh, autism, uh, autism silenced or something. And what that's about is that Autism Speaks apparently only uses a small portion of the funds that they receive to go towards family, something or other. Um, let me look and see what the fuck it was exactly. Like I think I put it in lobby. Um, oh, no, it's in Nagasaki Fan Club. Uh, let's see here. 2% for family services, less than 2%. I don't know what family services is, but there's 42% is of is awareness and lobbying. So I think that's what pretty good. Does that mean? Like, oh, guys, is your autism is real? No, it's like what is autism? Like what is on the wow. spectrum? What is off the spectrum? Google. Well, that's why we're doing this fucking video. This is literally autism awareness. We're making people aware of what autism is. Free. Fuck you. Yeah, I know we did do it for free, but the, the most money of, of that category is probably the lobbying because it's hard to make politicians actually give a fuck about stuff unless you give them money and that sucks but that is literally it's all you can do anymore is just throw money at the problem because n no amount of anyone actually giving a fuck gets legislation written that helps protect people who are, are vulnerable, like lower functioning autistic people, or get them fucking the benefits from Medicaid that they need, so that because they can't, like one of the things about Medicaid or Medicare or whatever the fuck it is, is that you have to show that you are incapable of uh, maintaining gainful employment. So having a job and being a janitor or whatever is not considered gainful employment, at least not by the state of New York, as I'm aware. And so they say, well, basically, you, you'll be a janitor forever. So your perceived happiness, liberty is guaranteed by the Constitution is being stifled because you have a legitimate um, affliction of some kind. So what they do to offset that is they fucking problem. See what I'm saying? But you have to throw, you have to, you have to spend money to fucking make money. Um, I'm going to go out for a second, so I'm going to leave the screen static, but I'm not actually leaving the stream. See, this is the good thing about being able to integrate Discord, is that I, I can just <laughs> set my fucking character like this and then keep talking in the stream. But, um, the other portion of, the, the second largest portion is research. And it's 32%, so it's only 10% less than the awareness and lobbying section. So that's actually pretty good, because research helps 
figure out how to how it helps people learn how to fucking manage their shit. Basically, it's like, oh, we did some research, and now we know that if you take this medication, it helps mitigate your symptoms. Or it helps, you know, or maybe, like, I don't know how I feel about a fucking cure for autism. Like, I don't, I don't actually, like, let's say that they invented a cure for autism, I wouldn't want it. Um, I kind of, I mean, it's hard sometimes living, like, a fucking, what I'm, you know what I mean, just not being the typical and not being able to communicate directly with people in the way that I want to, and people not taking me seriously. But on the other hand, it, it, it's part of my personality at this point. And anything, it, like, Will Kincaid minus autism is not Will Kincaid anymore. It's somebody else, which is gross. And I don't want to be somebody else. I want to be me. And if I'm going to fuck in, if my personality is if my personality is going to change or if it's going to whatever, it's going to be organic. It's going to be with autism. I don't want to subtract that from, from Will Kincaid. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, in this breakdown, the, the fundraising is 16%. So I know that, that sounds contradictory because fundraising is raising money. But you actually have to you actually have to spend money to put up posters and run TV ads and shit. And Autism Speaks is like one of the largest um, autism advocacy nonprofits. Um, I think, at least in the country, maybe the maybe the world. I'm not sure about the world, but definitely in the country. Hey, and then JoJo fans, that was a pretty funny. Uh, oh, God. Said. And then the other 8% is miscellaneous, which is what? I have no idea. So I get what they're saying, but literally, if you're going to shit on the whole organization for money that you, like, okay, then go work for the organization and help them fucking manage their funds properly. Or, like, start an activism group or something like that. Bitching about shit on the internet never gets anything done. I mean, like I was talking about earlier, we, we, had, a, we had a YouTube walkout, and the only people who walked out were people like me, who didn't have anything to lose. The big people who needed to walk out when, when it should have been done, that could have maybe prevented IDEB's video from getting deleted, and other people's videos from getting deleted, protesting the, uh, would, would have been protesting the fucking um, new terms of service, they didn't fucking do it. And IDEB should have been like one of the fucking people who did it, but like, he doesn't upload anyway, so it's, it's like, right. Like, what are you gonna fucking do? YouTube. But anyway. Nagasaki just started streaming. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened to everybody. There's
a sec. Hey guys, this is Paul. Hey Paul, welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know when Pog dropped, but the bot in here that's streaming to uh yes, if you didn't know Pog or Pog Champ is a popular so Twitch emote. Uh, yeah, okay, so what I did was it dropped because my dog logged me out when he jumped on the fucking screen that's controlling it. I knew that some dumb shit was going to happen. I have no idea how much of that I actually Dude, got fucking uploaded. That fucking Ducky. God damn it. God damn it, Ducky. Ducky versus Odie. Who would win? He logged me out of the stream. Yeah, well, not the whole stream, Ducky just the bot. Ducky dog, because he is brains. Yo, your dog and my dog would get along so fucking well. Oh, okay, that's fine. They have so much sex. Is your, th your dog's a boy, you fucking idiot. Yeah, but he humps everything. Yeah, well, my dog only likes the women. We have a female chihuahua that he humps all the time. I mean, your He's dog's to be that age. Be homophobic, but okay. <laughs> I don't think dogs can be homophobic because they're, um, they can, they hate other uh, people. fucking, fucking dogs. Dude, my dog mom is dog. talk about fucking autism. My dog is getting a backpack for Christmas, and by that I mean a backpack that I wear that I put him in. <laughs> it's a special like dog carrier backpack. It's not one of those stupid front holder things that are like a sling for your fucking baby or whatever. It's like for dog. Hey, buddy, we're doing an autism stream. You want to come down here and talk about what it's like to have a brother who has autism? No, not really. <laughs> what is it like to have a brother that has autism? Given doing this. Yeah. Who's that? What about growing up with an autistic like brother? brother. Like brother. Mostly an asshole. Uh, we all wait hey, thank you for your riveting commentary. I appreciate all those kind words of support. <laughs> what an That's asshole. like a hip hop song. Yo, 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 my brother Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Everyone's watching Nagasaki stream now. Probably, we could probably end this because nobody fucking showed up because everyone is still fucking sleeping. No, don't end it. It's good. Are you fucking... Is that a joke or what? <laughs> it's good. Well, I'm crying. I'm doing good, dude. I mean, I don't really have anything else to talk about. Do you want to just enter the dude, rambling just, portion? Like, shit. Spitball. Alright, cool. So, <laughs> we're done with the autism portion, and now we're moving into the entertainment portion, where we just ramble about absolutely fucking nothing. I mean, I could actually play fucking Skyrim. I mean, that would be like that. I mean, that's what I'm streaming right now, so that would make the most sense. Look at this absolute fucking unit. He's so fucking old. <laughs> I mean, if there was more for this character, he'd be like a 300 year old fucking high elf. And he just, he just, he just fucking hates everything. He. He's so cynical, he's a prick. I think that's how I'm gonna play this character too, he's just like... A total douchebag. Just like, uh... Shut up! It does smell good in here, that's because my wife is making cookies. Hey! That's my brother, Don't you back fucking talk. idiot! He lives here. He's always lived here. Jesus Christ on a fucking crutch. I gotta go through this now. Let's see. We'll start with Alchemy. So I fucking... Oh, I guess I gotta do all the fucking perks for this. I have officially spent two days just trying to set this character up so that we could do the fucking playthrough. Which will be what I do for fun tomorrow. Why are you so stupid? 
I'm, I'm not. I just fucking, there's so much going on constantly that I, like, fucking got all that shit. Haha. <laughs> Just make this a perk character like fucking... how you want. That's what I'm doing. This is this perk is called purity. Fucking white power, am I right? Yeah, there's actually no white people in this game, unless you count like Imperials, I guess. I guess they're white, technically speaking. But so are fucking Nords and uh, Bretons are kind of elves. So I guess I guess elves are technically Asian or something. Because they have pointy ears. I don't know what race. What, what is the equivalent race for fucking elves? They can't be black because red guards dark are actually elf, black. Dark elf, dark elf. Yeah, what is dark elf then? That's from Marwin. Yeah, I know it's from fucking Marwin. Play Marwin. Play Marwin. What is. Okay, that's really fucking wonderful, but. Hey guys, you know Marwind, you could be like, I poke you, I poke you, I poke you. You see, uh, Skywind is almost done. It's Morrowind in the Skyrim engine. With, uh, all the graphical updates and everything, and there's quest markers. Did you like that about Morrowind, that there were no fucking quest markers? Or I thought it was annoying. Having to remember where shit was, especially with all the fucking low poly resolution, everything kind of looked the same Dude, to me. Dude, I'm literally still lost in Marwind. Right. See that that was the fucking problem. I'm glad they figured out quest markers. Ugh. All this, like, fucking this. The bigger that they made the fucking games, like, the more expansive and walking around and shit that you had to do, the more that they were gonna need to fucking do quest markers. Ugh. Did I tell you that I named my character fucking Keanu Epstein? Wow. Oh, wow. To everyone in chat, say PogChamp if you listen to The listen Lamb to Lies Down on Broadway. That'll be exactly nobody. We have people pop in and out, and then they're like, oh, this is dumb. Do not leave. Do not leave. Alright, so now I need, what's, for destruction, I need overcharge. One through four. Alright, and now what else do I need? I need dual casting, impact one, and simplicity one. one. Impact. Bolts. So I've got both of those. Some of these are just perks that give you an attack animation, and I wanted that, so I had to spend perk points in a fucking skill tree that I couldn't give a flying fuck about. Alright, restoration. So I need... Novice. I need... Uh, apprentice. Adept. Expert. And Master. And then I also need dual casting and scribe. So, is that it? Am I on the right one? Fucker. Dual casting, scribe. Okay, that's all in that. Okay, let's see. Alteration. I just need novice apprentice step. So that'll be easy. Novice. Apprentice, Adept, Expert, Math. God damn. Alright, so enchanting, I need everything. 
What kinds of fucking games are you playing right now? Oh my, enchanting uh, is at level half life. My fucking enchanting got reset. God damn it. Um, here we go. It should bring me up to a hundred. There we go. I'm gonna get an extra perk point, but whatever. I'll spend it in some random spot. Uh, health. Yes. Enchanting. Okay. Get all the fucking perk points for that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. And then I need to make my custom armor. Those dumbasses who are like, pay me so you can talk, me so you can talk to me on Discord. Discord. Yeah, I'm never doing that. I think the Amazing Atheist has something like that too. Which is kind of like, okay, whatever. I mean, it's not. For him, I guess it makes sense. Because, no. like, he's, no. he's got, like, shit to do. So every every minute of his time is, like, money down the drain if he's not spending it actually, like, making money or whatever. But at the same time, I feel like that's a really, like, you shouldn't charge, like, $10 for that. You should charge, like, you know, a dollar or whatever to get into Discord server. All right. Um, I got all the smithing. I need Juggernaut 1. I need fist steel. I need cushion. Farting one hundred. There we go. Well, it's good now that we're in the banter part of this fucking stream because, like, I I ran out of stuff because I was expecting to come in here and talk to people about like everything. But I. People like fucking get, had ended up. Everyone I booked except for you had like shit to do, so. <clears throat> That's fine. Well, fuck it. Whatever. Like you said. And like we were talking about before, it's fucking stream of consciousness. Just fucking roll with it. I am pretty excited about these fucking like cookies, though. See your shield charge. Disarming bash. Alright. One armed, so I need armsman one. One armed, one armed. that's a meme, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's a masturbation meme, right? Two handed one, really. Do I have dual savagery? No. Um, what do I need? Uh, fighting stance. Uh, critical charge. What does savage strike do? Oh, nothing. If I have points, I'll come back and put it in that. And Paralyzing Strike. Cool. I think that I will end up having the extra health points. I got the straight edge elves. Edgy boy. Archery, I need Overdraw 1. I need... Eagle Eye. I need... Steady Hand 1 and 2. And I need power shot. Follow better game series. Game series. I don't think so. Tell me. Tell me. I mean, like, I get. Well, cause like fucking. It's just, it's just fucking Minecraft. Fallout Four is just fucking what? Minecraft. What? Like, I get it, but and the story for Fallout 4 is really Star not that game interesting. Is a mobile game. Yeah, I know, and they canceled it. They did? Cool. Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody wants to play a fucking Skyrim mobile yeah, game like that. It's not a new Elder Scrolls game, so... I mean, there is another Elder Scrolls game that's coming out for mobile that might be alright. It's another Elder Scrolls Legends game. Uh, but that makes sense because there were Elder Scrolls games like that on mobile phones back in the fucking day. It was like a dungeon crawler. 
I can't I can't remember what fucking game it was, Fallout but I, I used to just better than Skyrim. I used to play one on like my fucking Nokia fucking phone where it was just like a digital fucking yeah. um what's yeah. Hashtag Nokia Lumia. In them, and you can be the funny, and you can consume the funny. You fucking, I would you fucking gay. Are you gonna be okay? Do you fucking drunk or? Oh, for God's sakes! Being the only tall person in this house. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I want to buy you a chair for fucking. Maybe Christmas. just because I like guns better than fucking. Magic. Nah, I mean, I like magic. I like being able to, like, bend reality with my mind. Yeah, but there's no gun. There's crossbows. No. I mean, crossbows kind of like a gun, right? Listen, Will. Listen, Will. Coke bottle looks like a penis, right? Doesn't mean you put it up your ass. <laughs> yeah. Take the boy. He's trying to get my fucking cookie. I don't know. Up your stairs. Listen. He's sitting. He's, he's, he's begging for a fucking cookie. Begging for a cookie on my pocket right now, and he's, he's stuffing all legend. over everything. Legend. Jesus Christ! I let him just have the fucking cookie at this point. If I didn't think it was gonna kill him. I'm just gonna stuff it all in my mouth. Well, well, uh, well, I, oh, I'm cool. All right. Let me go. <laughs> Let's see. I need fucking poison, and what? then cut purse, and then misdirection. Perfect touch. Okay, I've got some extra perks, so I can go back to uh, one-handed. And um, I'll get savage strike, so I can decapitate people. Um. um Well, well, you what? There's this post on NBC on Twitter. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're gonna talk about Onion Boy now? No, no, like, it says, it's I make like the best the meme. Best. And the meme is literally like the top panel is this guy, this guy. Like, talking to the co worker, and he says, I, Onision, will impregnate, impregnate you as requested. And the woman's like, oh, so sweet. so sweet. But the bottom handle is a fat man. man who's like, I just stabbed everyone to death. All right. And, it's, All right. and that's the meme. And the woman's like, ah. That's a good meme. That's a really good meme. It that's is literally meme. like, what are we talking about sometimes? You know what I mean? Like, if somebody just randomly walked death. into the fucking stream and was, like, trying to listen to you fucking talk about whatever it is, uh, nobody would, people would think, uh, you know, dropped. I mean, I like you, but. <laughs> I fell, I wasn't dropped. Oh, good. 
Now they've all respawned. Wonderful. I gotta get rid of all these fucking swords. I don't need them. Which means I gotta go back in. The only thing that's left to do, really, is get the fucking armor I want. Well, I gotta go back into classes and look for the fucking ring. Cause there's some unique fucking rings and shit. Um... I'll go back into the leveling room and just drop this shit off. It's too much fucking for a shit. sign that God exists, look no further. I am here. I am Onision. Are you... Dude, he's God. Listen, Onision is almost certainly going to fucking jail. Or going to not even jail, but like fucking big boy jail, like fucking he's prison. He's going to be turning into dirt soon. So... Oh yeah. Like he's gonna like be he's gonna be contact with jail concrete floor and his body will instantly turn into dirt. <laughs> um okay. Sure. And there's just gonna be weeds, there may be devil thorns coming out of him and they're gonna be glowing. They're gonna be glowing and they're gonna spell out the word and the word is poob. All right then. I don't know what to do with you. Can we get some poop in the chat? Be some fucking poop in the chat. <laughs> oh my god! It says it actually says plantation. That is legitimately bigoted. Um, what the fuck was I doing? I got some clothes back in the fucking camp in the sphere. I can go there anytime. Oh, I need to go to classes and get the fucking... No, I don't. I can make all the fucking stuff now. Alright, let's go to the fucking ranch. Come on, man. Cringe, 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 Oh my fucking god, everything is so green. Everything is so greasy, dude. I can't fucking see anything. What even is that? Talk creature. What is this? Tian is big, most well known thing is I'm a banana. And now he's like, kids. Kid. <laughs> I'm a banana. Kids. <laughs> I, I, you know how to eat them delicious babies? I like them delicious babies. Like, okay, Steve, onion boy. Of, that, by the way. of what? A banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. TJ used to make fun of that in the day because he got. Uh, there's a video of him floating around of him shoving a banana up his ass. I shoved. <laughs> Onision just Onision. literally, all his tweets are really sexual, really like, I will come in your ass, woman. Ass. He's like, oh, that me, I am God, come. I don't know what the fuck this is exactly. Hey, K-pop, right. I hate you. He, he tweeted he's that, dude. I gotta go to Stop fucking... calling me the Joker. What are you talking about now? It's what Onision's tweeting. He's like, stop calling me the Joker. He's tweeting? He tweets during the Donald Trumpy. 
He still has a Twitter? Yeah, he does. Yes. I guess they yes. just let anything on fucking Twitter now. <laughs> Stop calling me the joker. They just let child molesters hang, alleged child molesters, uh, you know, hang out on Twitter. It's great. You say man, not woman, banned from Twitter. You fuck kids, a okay. Okay. Remember that one time that that girl was like, she said that men are never women, and then Twitter was like, you gotta take that down. So she took it down, but she took a screenshot and put put up the screenshot of the original tweet, and they banned her off of Twitter. It's like, okay, no matter what Chris you think Hansen about Chris Hansen is doing a series, like, on series on Onision. Yeah, I did. Chris Hansen, God. It is like, no matter what you think of that, the fucking children is way worse than than saying edgy thing. Or depending on what you believe, you know, common sense thing. Oh my god, this crashed. Alright, I'm back. He can't, he like, he's really sexual really on his sexual. Twitter, it's always directed towards the person who's reading it. But his fan base is just... It's just because it sounds like something... Anything is better than just what we're doing now, which is nothing. You guys have to make me sell my thing. Cause cause blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's the Spongebob things. Oh my god. I really like it that fucking people on the internet are like, think fucking, they think that they're so fucking enlightened because they, oh, they have a YouTube account. Good. <laughs> Good for you. Like, I mean, because I plan on capitalizing on this. Oh, okay. I hope you make lo loads of fucking money. Uh, I hope it works. Fucking pog. Where is... Yeah, I can't get him to follow me. Damn it. All to hell. Uh, this would have been a lot better with Terry and EO Sapien, but they didn't. No, uh, I think only EO Sapien better. You what? Somewhere. Jagger. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Dragon Hunter. Where's the fucking Arachnomancer? What? Onision's oh, insane. Yeah. Sex, 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 children. Damn. Some of the people are. Mess. What fucking time is it? Oh, it's almost 9 o'clock at night in the game. I'm not yiffing hell, dude. I feel so bad. Um. What fucking bro are we gonna go get? Armory Mess Hall. I should have saved before I went in here because sometimes it, it crashes the followers. Nope, he came in this time. Okay. K. 
Khajiit Void Traveler Where are all the good fucking followers? There's another Khajiit Whatever Betty the Barkeeper Nope, I don't care about that Plunderer, no What about you? Nope, can't follow Yeah We're going on an adventure and we need to find some fucking People Come with us. So far I've got Thor, which is okay. I wanna get him a better fucking Feather fuck, feather fuck, feather fuck, feather fuck. What is that animation? Put the feather up my ass and shit. I don't know what the fuck you're saying anymore. You guys will go to the plantation. You fart it's like an arrow. Like a... Alright. Put a bullet in your ass, you fart, damn bitch. That bitch dead. Plantation that owner. Work. You put a bullet up your ass, and like if someone like rapes someone... you, you can just shoot it at them. Dance, Will? You what? You put a bullet in your ass, and then like if someone rapes you, you just shoot the bullet at them. That, uh, that is not how that works, dude. It is! You can't just shoot a bullet out of your ass. <laughs> and to you fart. No, if anything, you'd have to light the fart on fire to get the bullet out of your ass. You can, dude, just kill a Taco Bell. You fucking, even if you did that, what it would probably do is it would probably just shoot you in your fucking colon, and then you'd die. Uh, bro, you gotta get the tip of the bullet outside. The tip yeah, of the bullet points outward. Yeah, you the other end. You can't just take the other end. That's how you press the direction. For fuck's sake. So like, so, when it ignites, it goes out your asshole. Can we get some fucking F's in the chat for my sanity? Bullet in our ass for sanity. There's nobody I want. Even better. You could put like a rocket in there, and then they really like think next time before raping you. Uh, uh, ideas, guys, guys, ideas, profitable ideas. You got Thor and Creature. I don't know what this skin is exactly. Moon. kind of funky thank you this one guy you know you're supposed to be in my stream can you not talk is that what's going on that's probably what's going on just doesn't have access to the microphone you're in the discord so I don't need to tell you where to fucking go you just jump in <clears throat> we're just talking nonsense now at this point anyway so it doesn't matter Boobie. Yeah, you got busy. Okay, cool. Alright, so hopefully that didn't just fuck my everything. Hopefully they're still out here and I don't have to reload that. Heroes in apparently crashes the, all of the fucking followers if you pick up another follower in there. So hopefully that didn't just crash all of my fucking followers. Nope, they're still here. Okay, cool. Followers in there too, so it made me upset. Shut up! Zabra, I don't care about that. I want all the neat looking. Oh, I think I can get into the research facility. Lost so, Realm. So, yeah. But, my truck was in the shop and I had like, to get, You train your ass to have like real muscles like muscles. And get you dinner. Muscle. No, I'm off and, like, okay. You spin your shit in your asshole 
So it's like a spike, and then you, like, eject it. That is not how that works, and you know it. It will. That's the next stage of human evolution. Fuck you. I'm correct. Dude, so, if humans yeah, okay. did that, we would literally never be right. Because it would be like, you lose your cock, or whatever. If you rape someone, it's just like, oh wow, railgun shit. shit. Fuck's sake. Research chest. <laughs> Shut up! Don't be mean to Ducky. Well, they they barking. Builds a Daedric Centurion? Alright, I'm interested. Builds a Daedric Centurion. Peril. <laughs> What was that that said builds a Daedric Centurion? Not a mess. Alright, I better stay. He is there any way to is there any way to make them stop? Or no. Send them to the fucking ranch. <sighs> Fuck me. Alright. Let's see here. So I got it equipped, and now I just, no, I gotta fucking, I better get out of here. The fuck are you? Oh, Jesus. Dumb fucking Minecraft YouTuber. I'm sorry. I like did it. But I don't know where it fucking spawned. The fuck is a Daedric Centurion? Creatures Gargoyle. Alright. Oh. Who fucking did somebody leave the chat? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I feel like there's somebody in here and now they're not in here. It's so weird. They must be a poopy farm, poopy man. Farm. I don't know what the fuck happened there. It said summon Daedric Centurion, and then everyone started beating the piss out of each other, and then it just stopped. Forbidden Ice Cave, where the fuck is the... There must be a key to all these somewhere. Alright, time to get a crew together. Looking for the chicken mancer. It must be around here fucking someplace. We're going to Ragnarok. Maybe there's some neat followers in there.
Ducky, I can hear your fucking gamer energy over here. I... Oh, okay, this is cool. So there's definitely somebody fucking here, I'm sure. It's worth a good goddamn. All right, creature followed me. Nordic trader, what do you got? Yeah. Weapon, peril, nothing in it. Whatever. Bandit. Dragon Bone Warrior, what do you got? Probably a bunch of. Yeah, just a bunch of Dragon Bone shit, whatever. Or more <coughs> random Khajiit. So there's a lot of fucking stuff going on here. All right. Open the pit chest. All right, the pit. The fuck is the pit? Hey. Howdy. Hey, fuck. Howdy. Oh, it's this one guy and Dragay. They're in here. See, as long as we waited, you know, we fucking wait long enough and eventually people fucking appear. I had to eat dinner and do all that crap. Death ward. I can't yeah, we are live streaming. You what? There we go. I'm gonna turn out my phone and I'm waiting for my girlfriend to get done with her dinner so we can get going to work. Oh, okay. We are uh, live streaming, so. I don't know. I was in the, was in the, the live chat. chat. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, you, you read my comments, did you just forget? Just forget. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I heard you, the, the videos we were playing, I was in and out while I was busy listening in and yeah. out. Well, we decided, because the people who were supposed to show up to the stream, to do the stream with us, uh, I couldn't make it because they went night-night or something. Well, they went to bed, uh, bye. Uh, well, they're just busy or whatever the fuck. Um, we decided to just uh, banter, so welcome. That's cool. That's pretty That's much pretty it is. So being an, an autistic parent is just banter with the child, back and forth. Yep. Trying to get the nice kid to do something nice, and he's a little jerk sometimes. Yeah. yeah in a playful way, not like a mean way. Right. Oh, I'm glad you fucking made it. So what is it like having an autistic child? Oh, no. challenging, I guess. For the most part, you know, you try to do things for the kid, you try to introduce do things to kids, and how are we depends. talking? Are we are we talking nonverbal or what? Oh yeah, kid oh, can yeah. talk and stuff. He's a talker. He's one of those smart ones, but he he's like he's not there. He can't. Oh, okay. He's not in the real world. He's in his la la land. So yeah, so. well that's cool. I really guess, but it it's gets him in gets trouble. Him. All the time, he gets him in trouble. Cause he's a punk kid. He he thinks being mean is funny sometimes. Not like mean, mean like beating up. But he likes to call people names, and he All gets right. his classmates going, and he's just always disrupting always his, class. his class and stuff right. like that. He's never he like like for instance instead of doing his schoolwork which he's fully capable of doing, he'll start drawing and he'll just do that all day and just draw. And he gets real mad when they try to get him to do his schoolwork because he doesn't want to do it. He wants to do his drawing. 
So, so it's hard like, getting an autistic person interested in things that aren't interesting. Yep. yep. It's like freaking fighting with a cat trying to give it a bath. Like legit. Right. I'm just gonna get claws and all that. Um, well, I mean, it has this up and down. He's very understanding. I guess I'm lucky with that. I guess I have to thank myself for that. For trying to help him explain things for him. So, right. at least we have our understanding. But he's still he's a kid, and I, I think I forget that, because he's a very he's bright boy, and he's very intuitive. But he's still in his mind, you know, he's like a genius in the fucking body of a kid. And he's just trapped, and he wants to do everything he wants to do. He doesn't see the bigger picture. He doesn't get the importance of things. Uh, no, I mean, it's hard to get as best as I can, you know. Yeah. It's hard to get any kid to give a shit about the bigger picture or understand that there mm -hmm. is a bigger picture. So it's, well, I mean, you gotta I mean, see. Most, gotta most see, kids most do kids get the bigger, like with school, you know. School. They can sit down regularly and pay attention to teacher and do their classwork. Him, no, he can't even do that basic. Like with he can do it, but it takes him like all of his concentration. Like, oh yeah, 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 you know. But he doesn't, he doesn't, like, do that, like, that stuff, like, getting things ready. He has this problem with always wanting to be first in line, and that always gets him in trouble. Because he gets mad when he's not first in line, because he wants to be the first. And first in. Right. And they're, like, they're trying to be more strict with him, and he doesn't get that they're trying to just lay down the law, and then he gets upset, and he starts yelling, and then he runs away. Yeah. That's like the one the weird thing is like uh, usually like, usually like we're having this big argument because like uh, with his aide in the school because like when there's like no students it's just her and him walking in the uh, hallways she'll let him run and do his own thing but at the same time like when there's kids in the hallway he'll try to do the same thing so it's like I don't think you can get the whole thing of. You can only do that when the hallway is empty versus can't do when there's people in the hallway. Because MD doesn't care. He'll run into people. And he'll mouth off the people if they're in his way. It's just really? funny. He has a, yeah, he'll mouth off the people. Not in like a bad sense, but he'll just be like, you know, you don't expect a little kid to just come up to you like, uh, excuse me, you're in my way. Can you move, please? It's just, it's, it's just, it catches, catches people catches off guard, you know, you just don't, just don't hear little boys going up to people like, Oh, yeah, you're in my way! But just, like, just say the boldest things, things like, like, Why are you wearing that type of ugly shirt? shirt? You know? <laughs> no filter in the boy. He, whatever yeah. he thinks comes right out. But he's very smart, like I said. He, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't like he doesn't cussing. cussing. And he doesn't like to cuss. He'll joke He'll about joke. cussing, but he he refuses to cuss. Really? Mm-hmm. He knows it's bad, so he's, he's really good. <laughs> he will avoid it. I mean, I'm pretty sure he yeah, does it on his own. You know, like inside his head and all that. But still, he will refuse to say bad words, but he still calls, calls people calls names and like... like... <sighs> right. Things like that. Sorry, I had phlegm a lot. Sign of, like, disgruntledly. I just had phlegm six as well. <laughs> Jesus. But, uh, yeah. But he has a lot of support, which is good, too. Yeah. So we're just mostly dealing with that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. Sorry, yeah, it's yeah. Grandma over here. Oh, okay. so good to go, though? Alright, all right. give us a couple when we get up. I'm gonna go out to my car. Shit, shit. I'm getting old, man. Yeah, no, I get the feeling. Oh, no, like, we'll get to the point to, like, I start to wake up. But, like, I heard it today, like, you wake up, your fucking back starts to hurt, and you're like, what the fuck? Barely get out of bed. That's how I woke up this morning. My back was in so much fucking pain. It's like, I gotta get up gotta and do get... shit, man. I was like, why the fuck does my back hurt so much? <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm deteriorating. Old age is fighting me. 
Dude, I'm only like 26 and I woke up this morning with the worst back pain. I'm like, what am I, fucking 85? Hey, dude, the bed, do you flip and rotate the mattress? mattress? Uh, no, but that's probably a good idea. Yeah, see? Should rotate it every three months. Yeah. And with the New Year starting, it's a good time to do it. You can do it right on New Year's. Just flip it right around. People are like, what? What? You flip mattresses? Yes! Yes! I learned in housekeeping when I worked at a hotel. You flip the mattresses every freaking three months quarterly. Or four months, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Right. Well, for the most part, I mean, like I said, it has its challenges and it has its rewards. It's just it's really just challenging. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's going to get any better or if it's going to get worse as older he gets, though. Because he seems to be, like, somewhat regressing. I mean, I think he gets better, but... He seems to be regressing some, and, like, especially with his behavior. And some things he's doing good, like, he's eating more because he has food sensory issues. So that's a, that's a, the biggest challenge. He's like a stick. Food sensory issues. Yeah. Out. Yeah. So he's. I get. I think some autistic kids have this uh, food sensory where they can only eat certain food because they can't handle certain textures, taste, or um, you know, things of that nature. You know, it's involved with food. So. Like you can't. Like he won't eat steak or meat or potatoes or stuff like that. Like and he's. So he can cancel he cancels he I oh, kept dropping. I think you're going through a dead zone. No, with me it's Keith. fucking Yeah, it's mind fucking telling apple. me what you're doing at McDonald's. Apple sauce. Apple sack. Ow. to shit. Forced to fight. Yeah. Hello, EMC. Just when I think I'm beginning to understand you. You fucking... Listen, you were not born to ship and, and no one's forced you I. All right. For Stephanie. The fuck. So what Skyrim mod? You what? What? What Skyrim mods am I using? A whole fucking bunch, my dude. And unreasonable. I heard that the PC version. The PC. The I'm sorry. What did you hear? Like they tried. You keep cutting out, I have no idea what you're saying. Hello? 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 Is that better? Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Alright, good. So what so we're saying is like, saying I heard that they're heard doing that they're like a... Doing the Nether Scrolls mod where you can... Join another person's game. Oh, that would be neat. I heard it's only for PC, and it's in, I think, the beta phase. But I don't remember where I heard it. 
Or where I found the link for it. <laughs> I think I'm dying of sick of sick. Alright, I'll take the werewolf one day. What is your favorite crest? And Skyrim. Skyrim? I don't even barely remember any of them. But Dawn Guard was alright. Yeah, it was. But I don't remember anything being, like, particularly remarkable. It was mostly oh, like, no. oh. Yeah, it's like, oh, go here, do that, collect fucking whatever, repeat. I think I like the, uh, hold up. Let's like some fucking thing. Give me a second, I'm sorry. Very good. No one likes loud noises like that. No, no. I go on. Uh, what point? Uh, I like the mentions involving, um, around, uh, what is it, the, uh, uh the necklace, necklace thing. Necklace? What the fuck are you talking about? The necklace from the, uh, the, the brothers the that brothers split up in three. Oh, the Jarek Alderson quest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely with trying to find all the dragon claws too, that's were fun. Oh, I hate the fucking... The blades. I do not like them. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, I just didn't hear what... I didn't understand what that word was. What did you say? I have no, I have no idea. Alright. Uh, I, better, I better get going because I'm driving. So I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you later. Shit. Alright, I've got so lady. Commercial. I've got lady. I've got fucking Thor. Where's creature? Here he comes. That's four. So I need two more. Top level marketing companies or MLMs. I need the fucking uh what am I gonna get? I kinda want a wizard. wizard. And uh somebody else. I guess I could get the chicken mancer. But I can't fucking find this son of a bitch. He's around here somewhere. Let's see. A lot of essential oils are not even safe, man. That's, that's crazy. There's one that if you put it on your cat, it'll die. Put a drop on it, the cat explodes. Uh, no, I don't. It doesn't explode. It, explodes. it just... It turns into feathers. Oof. Yeah. Cat dead. <sighs> Bring you with me. You? The junk one. <laughs> Doc, you fucking asshole. It's alright. The, the doggy do the doggy. He insists on barking at everyone tonight. It's weird. He doesn't usually do that. Junk Lord. Oh. 
I don't know what shops is scary. Golden. Where the fuck is chicken? Dude, um, these fucking people are disgusting. disgusting. They're like, oh, my father died. And they're like, well, you should have used essential oil. This essential oil can bring them back from the dead. I know, my wife was just talking about that. She's like, I believe in, like, essential oils and stuff. Like, eucalyptus helps you with congestion. Doctor? Doctor? Like, but she's like, I also believe in vaccination. So it's like, okay, at least you're not that guy. Okay, hold on. Well, apparently I can't bring people into here. Of course. It's just the one fucking guy that I wanted to and they I will probably end the stream soon. I'm getting kind of tired, and the dog keeps interrupting, and at this point we've gone on for almost two fucking hours, so actually over two hours now. And fucking Corbus isn't in here. Corn, 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 corn. Okay, I got it. My funny. Okay. I guess we'll get two more guys from in here then, since I can't find the fucking chicken dancer. I don't know where they went. Let's see. Not you. It's a dumb name. I'm not picking you guys. Oh, you know what? There's one guy that I can grab from the Void Library. That, I know, because it's got a landmark. Oh, God damn it. He's around here somewhere. Two fucking hours just getting this part of the character done. Re fucking ridiculous. Mm. Oh, that's the last one. As many as I could fucking crew.
fucking sword is that? We got creature. I've got Johnson the monster. I've got Thor. I've got Phoenix. And I've got right. Hermes Morris reincarnated. Cool. Howdy, welcome back. Glad you could be here. Alright. I just need camp here. A campsite. Hey, Bill. Hey. It's your client orchestra. You up? Electric light orchestra. Orchestra. Um, uh, they do a fucking song. They do Mr. Blink the Sky. Is that it? Yeah, the sun is shining in the sky. Sky. There ain't a cloud in sight. Yeah. Um, Got it, yeah. Uh, evil woman. And they also do Don't Burn Me Down. Right. Well, the guy, Jeff Lynn, the guy, main guy, from that, he just made a new album. Oh, yeah. That's a. It's new. It's this year. This year album, twenty nineteen. Also, Ringo Starr has also made a new album. Ringo Starr is he still fucking around? Yeah, he is. He made a new album. Jesus, it's Christ, boys! You gotta be kidding. There we go. Too much stuff, though. I'll lag the shit out of everything. Damn. This product made my balls go big. Here's a photo. Great. Do you think they're like MLMs of like people who want ball growth simmer, like like lotion or something, and they like show their balls to prove or that they made it bigger? Um, I have no fucking idea, but I imagine they just go in. Like shop and just use the magnifying effect. God damn it! Well, everything like crashed. I took too button. much. I took too much shit all at once. All right, we're gonna end the stream. Thank you, everyone, for participating. We end the stream. I'm too funny. Hell yeah! It's fucking over. Subscribe to EMC to one to three on YouTube.com. That's YouTube.com slash EMC to one to three. All right. <laughs>